Yeah, just stopped by Warwick Duo. This is always one we always seem to look at, don't we? Yeah, I think, I think this is the shorter one, isn't it? Sixty-eight thousand nine nine five. Oh, that's quite a big sort of thing there, isn't it? Must be the washroom. Sort of gives you a narrow entrance door. Yeah, right. That's an automatic, this one. That's nice, isn't it? Automatic. I don't know if the seats swivel. I don't think the seats swivel. I'm trying to look. I can't see the lever to make them swivel. That's a bit of a disappointment. Storage space above there. A nice solid thing to whack your head on there. Locker, Dometic, extractor, and medium sized fridge. Uh, triplex, three burner gas, which seems fairly standard on Panavan conversions. A little sink with drainer. So, the reason for buying the Warwick Duo is these uh, lovely sofas. Nice little table at the back view to the outside. A couple of lockers at the back here. These seats are always nice. TV point. Strangely like two doors there I suppose. That one probably, does that one open? I don't think that one opens because of the door. We've got the standard blinds and all the windows. Yeah. Dometic lights. It's actually switched on. I mean, this uh, is obviously a fairly sort of typical layout for camper vans, uh, for panel van conversions. USB point and a single 240 volt. And washroom with twin drainers by the looks of it. A shower curtain, a little vanity unit, pull down sink. Yeah. And toilet, bench toilet, little mirror here. It's a, a my opinion would be it's perfectly well formed. <laughs> right. Yeah. It's just got all the bits in all the right places. It's no. a manual fridge, I think. Is it? Yeah, I can't see an A on it. I'll have a look in a sec. No, it is a manual fridge, isn't it? Yeah. Someone's blasting out some music in the background there. I know, so you're going to have trouble, I think. Might, might have trouble. If you can spot what that tune is, I will have trouble. Yeah, it's refillable gas. There's a little indicator on the bottom there. I like the fact that it's an automatic there, but I wish they put made these travel Well, seats I suppose swivel. the trouble is you'd be right on the door thing. Yeah, you? I suppose so, because it's quite a big unit, isn't it? Yeah. And if you notice, this chair is right up against this worktop as well. So I don't know what they, I'll have to sit in there. Right, I'll just step inside the cab. No, I'm not happy you with that. Do that. <laughs> well, you always go outside and come, come in the door. Yeah. Yeah, I suppose it's okay for me. You can't go back any further. Well, it, it's all the way back. I'll probably have it back there. All oh, right, so you're okay then. Probably be all right. Yeah. But it's, uh, that seems really. I don't know why that seems so. Seems so tight to get out. Oh, blimey. Well, you've got two armrests, haven't you? That's probably not helping. Yeah, I suppose so. I never really thought of that. It does seem, seem a bit tight here. Well, it's, this seems quite low. Yeah, so you'd have to watch your head as you you'd struggle in there. You'd your head on it. Yeah. It's things like that put you off, can't they? Yeah. It's the usual auto sleeper. Yeah. Good build, isn't oh, it? Oh, yeah, yeah. No complaints about storage or anything. A very nice locker there. Wonderful sofa. You could sleep on that, couldn't you? 
If it's long enough, yeah. Or... Yeah, well, I think it, yeah, it's bound to be long enough. It looks like it's six foot nine. All right, it's okay then. <laughs> yeah, so this is a used Warwick Duo. Uh, mileage 5560, 3500, automatic. And length is six meters. Yeah. Yeah, because it's on the shorter or medium wheelbase one. That's right, yeah. Yeah. So, I mean, obviously it feels a little bit more cramped because of that extra six metres and having the, the washroom here. Obviously you've got the toilet empty in point there. And we're looking we're back here. And we've got air conditioning unit up there. And speakers at the back there. <laughs> the dealer man just asked me what I thought of the van. He's gone now. 